My boyfriend ain't got a girlfriend, but we go on dates, though. There's just no calendar mark anniversary days, so my boyfriend ain't got a girlfriend to give gifts to. Just an occasional nice gesture, a come through, I miss you, a girl who always comes through, a clutch, a rider, a bonnie without a clod. My boyfriend ain't got a girlfriend, just a girl he makes future plans with but doesn't have any real plans with. Mm. She right. <sighs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, child. We just saw a clip of Kyla Janae Lacey's performance of My Boyfriend Ain't Got a Girlfriend. Mm. When I first saw this on social media, it struck a chord with me because there are so many sisters going through what she describes. Being in a relationship with a man without any commitment or title is now become the norm, unfortunately. And it made me wonder, why? Why are so many women willing to settle for situationships and mm. not hold out for relationships? You ladies, know, ladies. Unfortunately, I think they feel that they're working towards that because you have to understand the man is acting and conducting himself as such as if they were in a relationship. Mm -hmm. They're spending a lot of time together. As she noted, they're going out on dates. Uh, she's the reliable one in his mm -hmm. life. He actually defers to her, but yet and still there is no title and no commitment. And I think women look at the action where we're really close and it feels like a relationship. So maybe one day, you know, she'll be working towards that title. But we ain't, we ain't listen. But, 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 but it's not a good idea, ladies. You're just setting yourself up, you're setting yourself up for the let go and the let down. Um, I just think women should just be more open and vocal and saying exactly what they want. Yeah. And if it, the man is not willing to give it, then move on. It's so many men out here. I'm dating a couple of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> What? Here for the people. Here for it. Why? Why? Well, I'm just saying. So here's the deal. Okay. Okay. And I'm not trying to get off cue here because I want to keep it about her. But I'm gonna let y'all into a little bit it's of my business. It's about all women, so it's good. You know. But what I'm saying is, like my my what I've learned, right? I just think it's so important for women to date and date multiple multiple men. Now I'm not saying that you. Yeah. Because you date them, you, you sleep with them, you do not sleep with them, okay? And there's a lot of crafty ways to get around that, ladies. DM me and I'll let you know about them. But what I'm saying, no, seriously, there's a lot of crafty ways to get around that. But what I'm saying is you do want to date so you can really truly understand first what it is you really want, okay? And then you have to look, and it's almost like statistics, do the numbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One or two or three of them going to let you down anyway. Mm. Because they're not emotionally mature enough, mentally they're not there yet, and a lot of guys are just playing. They're, they're, they're doing it, they're doing the dating. Men got a down pack. Well, they, they do the dating. So my thing is, what's wrong with you dating? Nothing's there, wrong, there's and nothing then especially wrong when dating. you're honest about it. Yeah. And I, I gotta tell you, when men feel like other men want you, it makes them step their game up. That's true. Too. When you come across like it's all about you and you're doing all of what Kyla said she was doing in the video, <laughs> baby, Kyla is gonna come up with no results. Trust me. And and all of what she had just said. I you know what when I thought when I looked at this video, I'm 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 concerned about why men feel that women should always be the down ones. It's never, um, it's never promoted that men need to be down it's for never. us. And so I started to think about where this comes from. And I, I hate to go old school and take us all the way back. But men, I want you to remember that we were also chained when we came over on those boats. Our, our women were chained just like you alongside you. And so were our children. Mm -hmm. So with that in, in mind, keep in mind that we too go through the same struggles in this country that black men do, but we don't get the reservations. Black women don't get um, the, we need somebody to be down for us. Mm. We're also broken. We have awesome. also went through trauma as well. Mm. So this is not just a black man have been pushed down issue. This is a black people have been pushed down issue. Right, like and when that. you don't get behind <laughs> women just the same, you're doing a disservice to your entire family. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I just want men to understand that what you feel as oppression and, and hurt and trauma, so do we. That's good. Mm -hmm. So Selena. when you say, I need a woman to be down for me, we need a man to be down for us too. Yeah. That's good. That's and, I, 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 and I hate, I, I just had a time with this because men think it's okay for women to pursue them profusely mm -hmm. at this, at, you know, but then when a, a woman wants you to do it, she's a gold digger. She doesn't, you know, she's selfish and all of this, that, she, and the third. Mm -hmm. And then when we come up with the Bible verse of Proverbs, then you try to say, oh, you're just using the Bible for your, you know, to your, to your advantage. Well, yes, I am using the, the Bible to my advantage because that's why God put it there. Because he wants us all to use the Bible for our advantage. So I just need men to understand 
you're not the only ones that are dealing with trauma mm -hmm. and have to get through trauma mm -hmm. in this world. Right. Um, really quickly, <laughs> I have a friend who uh, is expecting her, uh, expecting a baby, but I'm going to go to the backstory that she just d was not going to take or stop taking what she thought was going to be the perfect thing. She mm -hmm. was uh, with this guy and they were doing great and, you know, mm -hmm. he's, he's successful, she's successful. And I just saw them, their relationship just like kind of faltering because he wouldn't make her the wife. But but this girl has everything, like mm -hmm. everything on paper. So I invited her to this amazing event that I was being honored. I was like, I, let me, God, who should I invite? So I invited her. There was a young man at the table and uh, we were talking. He had a family member that was being honored. I was being honored. He was like, hey, who's your friend? I was like, she's such and such, because I knew the, 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 the stuff that she was going through Correct. with him, like, mm -hmm. because the guy wouldn't make her his lady. Yeah, that's horrible. Like, he Shame wouldn't, on like, him. Like, come on, they're in their 40s. I was like, you guys should, should talk. Ended up talking, ended up volunteering for my organization because she was a part of my organization. Why did I just go to their baby re uh, gender reveal this past weekend? They're getting married because she didn't settle yes. for him trying to make her his wife or she didn't settle for all the other things that he had going on. The first guy. The first guy. Yeah, she didn't settle. Yes. So she didn't settle for the situationship. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. knew exactly what she wanted. Mm -hmm. She wanted a family. She wanted a husband. And she was willing to say, you know what? You're not good enough for me. I'm going to take this opportunity. And now she mm -hmm. has a whole family. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we, yes. And we yeah. have to stop being afraid to do just that. Yeah. Yes. Stop feeling like if we, because you know, women, we stay, we have been put in a predicament in society where if we speak up, if we make a choice, if we're strong, it's consequences. Or you wait on somebody. Exactly. There's consequences. But we can't do that anymore, ladies. We can't we can't be fearful anymore. We have to stand up and fight for what it is that we want to believe in in all aspects of our life. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. You said that. And always we want to know how you feel about this subject. So please leave us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV and we will be right back. But do not settle. Okay. <laughs> how about it, Miss Quad? Honey, load up on them.